Okay, and we have confirmation. We just passed waypoint zero, the service section Draco thrusters fired uh, to converge with the approach maneuver to uh, meet up with waypoint one. That'll be directly in front of the International Space Station. And again, uh, the plan will be to, as of now, will be to proceed past waypoint one and pause at waypoint two, about 20 meters. So as Dragon makes this maneuver, you were seeing mostly the uh, nadir side or the side of the International Space Station that faces the Earth. Now as we swing up in, in uh, front of the station, And now you can kind of see how Dragon is swinging up to be uh, in front of the station because now you can see a portion of the space station in the view. There's a link between the uh, two spacecraft now. There's a C2V2 on Dragon and also on the International Space Station that provides telemetry. Because this is all autonomous, uh, it's, it uses uh, some visual, um, some visual cameras to, to align with the docking port. Very loud and clear. Uh, your last call, we copied most of it, but you cut out towards the end there. I'm not sure if there's anything important for us. Copy. I'm going to repeat the end of the call. That's right. Crew Dragon Resilience actually coming into view a little bit clearer <laughs> now from the cameras aboard Dragon. That's right. We'll get even better views as it makes its way uh, even closer to make contact and capture with the space station. There it is. <laughs> yeah, based on the trajectory here, we may even anticipate a capture a little bit earlier than anticipating. We were looking at about 210. Never cut these off. Expected in less than 20 minutes. In this view from Crew Dragon looking at the International Space Station, it looks like it's this very slow and steady movement, but in reality, they're moving at 17,500 miles per hour. It was flanked by the European Columbus module and the Japanese gem. SpaceX copies, visors are down. We may enter into a hold at waypoint two. We are still awaiting ground go for final approach. It's at about 20 meters right in front of the docking axis. Again, we uh, are now moving into the chop which is the crew hands-off point. As I was mentioning earlier, if there is an abort, it will need to be done autonomously by Dragon. Ten meters. Copy, ten meters. start to see the detail on Dragon there as it is closing in on docking. That's right, two and a half meters, 30 seconds. Crew hands off point, it's called out.
Dragon. SpaceX on the big loop. Soft capture confirmed. Copy, soft capture confirmed.